Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to a monster spotlight. Um, I haven't done this in a while and this actually wasn't one that was planned. This was a monster spotlight. Um, it kind of happened with um, a buddy of mine on Discord. He hit me up and he told me that he has his dark snow white ready um, and asked me if he wanted if I wanted to show show off this monster because I wasn't able to get one with a square slot or else I probably would have raised her immediately. Um, and during the last one, I wasn't actually able to get one at all, so I don't have a Dark Snow White to raise. Um, and he has her ready, like completely gemmed and six starred and evil three and everything. So he asked me if, if I want to show off this monster um, for, for everyone to see. And she's actually really strong, so um, I'm quite excited to, to take a look at her. So he currently has her on, um, on a life set but it is um, with attack and crit damage. So she's a dark monster and she also has Hunter on, on her first skill, a 50% Hunter, which actually like makes her hit really, really hard. Um, pretty much almost like a dark Moonflower, but the second skill, you, you could argue that she's she could be more useful in certain situations because Exposed Weakness basically like um, it pretty much doubles the damage, so it does make your, everyone do quite a lot more damage. So Exposed Weakness is, um, I guess, pretty useful. Like, you can use this in, in farming. Um, well, actually, you, we would have to hit her, hit the monster a second time for Exposed Weakness to, to work. Um, but I heard a lot of people use her in Dragon Speed 10 because the, well, first of all, the Hunter um, makes it so you can kill the dragon a lot more easily. Um, and then maybe on first turn. I don't know if you want to use Exposed Weakness on the Dragon, but I guess you could. Um, in PvP... In PvP, she's really strong because she gets her... Like, she gets to try to one-shot someone on first turn. It's basically like using Dark Moonflower. Um, but now with the Snow White Leader skill, she pretty much kind of counters herself. So anyone running like a light Snow White lead on defense can kind of counter the, um, the dark, dark Attacker comps. But anyways, both both these gems have pretty high crit rate. Uh, this one has 20.5 and this one has 14.5. So she currently has 99% crit. Um, you know, if you add the, the crit rate gem together. So it should it should always crit. So I have here my usual um, monster spotlight team. The two monsters here are basically to boost her bar so she gets her active more so we can see her active skill damage. And I have my Thor for the 100% armor break so we can test out her damage with and without armor break. Now, is it just me? What does it feel like after the update? Everything just loads slower. Like, a lot slower. Like, really, really, really slow. It might be just me. I, I, I'm not sure, because after after the update, like everything just seems much slower. Like whenever you're loading, I think they added more graphics, and my knocks can't run as fast. Um, but anyways, we we got two monsters that are the same, the two dark minos, and we're we're just gonna um, we're gonna have her hit one of them first, see the damage, and then we'll have her um, we'll have Thor armor break the other one, and then have her hit this one, and see how much damage it does. Ooh. That's four hits of 14k. All right, I basically just one shot the thing. Um, I gotta say that's pretty good. <laughs> that is uh, that is actually really strong. Like normally you would need like light attackers to almost one shot it, but you know she's like a dark attacker and she can still one shot it, which is pretty amazing. Without elemental advantage. I think she might be the hardest like hitting monster with with her first skill, like out of all the monsters with their first skill. I think she has high, slightly higher base attack than Moonflower, so um, should be able to one shot a lot of things, especially in PvP. All right, we're gonna hit this thing with the armor break, and this is gonna to be like super overkill. Ooh, that's like 24 or around 23k a hit. 
Man, that is... That is pretty disgusting. It's a little sad. I wish I could have, uh... Would have... Could have gotten more. My summoning luck isn't that good. Alright, um... She almost has a full bar. She will have a full bar next turn. So we're gonna... We're gonna take out the high threat monsters. See if she can one-shot this Moonflower. Oh wait, she... She can't one-shot the Moonflower, so she probably can't one-shot the Bee. Um... It's alright. Just put some damage on this Bee. Have them all hit my Succubus. Alright, I'll actually have her AoE the next wave, because I don't want her to waste it right now. So we'll... I guess we'll just attack this Moonflower again. And then this way I can... I'm, I'm trying to get it so I can have two monsters that are um, the same type, side by side. And then I'll armor break one of them, and then have her do her AoE to nuke both of them, and then we can do the, the damage comparison. Alright, we got two Moonflowers here. I'm going to have my Thor um, put the Arm Break on one of them. I'm going to um, put up the buff. This way, after she knew, she'll, she'll still have a full bar. And then I will, uh, I will nuke them very, very hard. Alright, I think that was like... Man, how many hits was that? That was, that was around... Um, actually, I can't count, but she did like around 7k on the armor broken, or on the non-armor broken, and about 10k a hit on the armor broken one. And it straight out killed them. So it should have been, I think, I think maybe 6 hits. We can see it again afterwards. Let's see how many hits this does. Again, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits. It's not too bad. You know, she might actually be decent for golems. Like, probably not as fast as the, like, the Radis teams. But, um, if you want to run some nukers, you could run her. Along with some other nukers. And then, um, just have her, like, nuke the boss, expose weakness, and then have some other nukers with armor break. Um, and then the next turn, after they nuke, they should be able to do, like, a shit ton of damage to the boss. And basically try to kill him in one turn. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Exposed Weakness on the Golem. Oh wait, crap, I fucked up. I was supposed to Armor Break first, then Exposed Weakness. But we have both Armor Break and Exposed Weakness on this one. Actually, wait, no, that's not going to work. Rip. I messed up. Oh well. I thought it was supposed to last two turns. That was weird. Try to generate some blue soul, get her bar to full. Um, hopefully she, she resists the silence. Nope. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's let's just hope we don't kill the golem. I wanna I wanna um have Thor armor break and then have her use the exposed weakness. And then hopefully the golem doesn't resist, and then have her hit the golem again the next turn. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to armor break. Um, all right, that didn't land. That's unfortunate. 
I don't think we can set this up. The golem has too much, uh... Well, we did land the armor break, but she's... If I expose weakness now, she's gonna have the attack down for next turn. Right, let's see if we can make, make the golem live for one more turn. And then we'll we'll do like this super hard. Oh my god, he got the he got his active off. He's just here cucking me. Please don't. Ooh. Oh wait, this is the this is the this is the the death rattle. It's not it's not the uh it's not it's not what I thought it was. It wasn't the laser. Come on. All right, nice. We got it. I'm going to wait, 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 wait. not 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 yet. I'm gonna have have to hit her. Hit him first, and then hopefully this doesn't kill the golem and lands exposed weakness. All right, nice, perfect. All right, you can silence me as long as she doesn't die in one turn. Ooh, we have even crit. All right, now we're gonna have her hit the golem herself with uh, armor break and exposed weakness. This is, this was super hard to set up, by the way. Ah, oh, there we go. Forty-three <laughs> k a hit. Um, I think practical uses of exposed weakness, there, there actually aren't that many because it's really, really hard to set up. Um, you kind of have to, you kind of have to manually do things in order to set it up because it gets consumed after one attack. So if you're, if you're autoing with her, she does a nuke and then someone has slightly slower attack animation, uh, might take the exposed weakness off. So, um, or anyone with faster attack animation on the turn afterwards might um, take exposed weakness off um, so it's I don't think it's really that reliable but on manual mode possibly like maybe if you're manualing dragons um, you can have her nuke the dragon and also have her put exposed weakness and then have like another really strong nuker like Dark Atito, um to do a lot of damage on the dragon as well um, but anyways that is pretty much it so um, thanks Mono for letting us use your um, Dark Snow White and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.